Hello, I'm Matt, and it's been a year since I unboxed my EcoFlow Delta Pro. It's actually a few days ago, but timings and stuff, um, and I figured it's about time I did a capacity test. Um, it's a little tricky to do a capacity test because I don't know exactly how the EcoFlow Delta Pro does monitor how much current goes in and out. Um, I don't think it quite counts the inverter as part of its output, which I think uses about 80 watts. It's a little bit tricky to tell. Um, so, yeah. Um, anyway, its rated capacity is at 3.6 kilowatt hours. Um, I am going to use a Dyson heater, um, which uses about 1500 watts. Uh, so it should take about two hours to deplete the battery. Um, and I would guess that it will output somewhere around 3.4 kilowatts um, due to losses and my guess when I actually charge it up it'll be about 4 kilowatts which would put the um, put the well, when the average out will be somewhere around 3.6 kilowatts however this thing has cycled about 270 times um, and the more you use it, uh, right at the start, the amount of power a battery can output will drop fairly quickly and then plateau out and remain at roughly that stage uh, for the duration of its life. And so did EcoFlow add enough capacity so it will remain at the 3.6 kilowatts they claim um, for the year? Uh, or have they put in exactly 3.6 kilowatts when new and hoped for the best. Anyway, um, I have the EcoFlow hooked up to um, Smart um, Home Assistant, uh, which will mean that I'll have a nice graph at the end showing you this. I'm also using a kilowatt meter down here, along with a Tasmota compatible um, smart plug um, which is also reporting back to Eco uh, to the uh, smart home assistant. Um, I can't remember who I bought this from. Um, I'll, I'll uh, add that into uh, at the end and put a link in the bottom. Again, uh, this won't be an affiliate link, um, so feel free. Um, right, let's get started. Uh, so I'm at 100% charge, uh, and. If I turn the AC on, we'll see a little draw, I think. No nope, problem, that's good. Alright, let's get this thing on. I apologise for the noise, this is a uh, blower style fan heater. And it's not working. Great. Ah, would help if I do that. Smart plug on. Right. Are you going? It is on. It sets at 18 degrees. Let's turn that up to 24. There is 30. I'm seeing a load of 770. 1442. 1700. 1800. 1900 even. Okay, so that's settled at 2 kilowatts. Let's get that down to the 1500 I'm aiming for. Okay, so this is set to 20 degrees and I'm seeing 1600. Floating top end of 1500, so just shy of 1600. Uh, let's leave it there. So the heater is on 20 degrees Celsius, um, it seems to be on high, and I will come back and see where we're at later. Well, it's been about 30 minutes since I started the test. We're now at it's just dropped to 69% state of charge and at uh, 1575 watts. Um, the EcoFlow suggests there's one hour and 21 minutes remaining. Um, the K 
kilowatts also says it's 1560 watts and the smart plug I mentioned before is a local bytes um, UK smart plug um, running the open source um, Tasmota software and has been calibrated and worked beautifully um, with Home Assistant out of the box. Um, I'll leave a link in the um, description below. Really useful, not a sponsor, but just a happy customer. And it is saying 1600 watts apparent power. And we have currently used 120 kilowatt hours. Is that right? Yeah, probably. Right, I'll be back in a little bit. Catch you later. Right, it's been just over an hour since I started the test. Uh, we're at 41% state of charge, and we're still using 15. 1580 watts, 1577 watts, and the smart plug is saying 1600 VA. So I'm not 100% sure what the difference between watts and VA is, but I think there is a slight difference. Is that apparent power? I don't know. But yeah, so approximately 47 minutes left, and I'll be back soon. We're coming up on 1 hour 45 minutes into the test. Uh, there's 12% remaining of the battery and it estimates 13% remaining. Uh, I'm a little unsure how accurate this is going to be because when I completely cycled the battery before starting this test, um, it spent a lot of time at 1% telling me um, that it was nearly empty and then continued to output 150 watts for another 4 hours. And then when I fully charged it, um, it got to 99.49% state of charge and then spent another 6 hours charging at 300 watts. So yeah, that was another 1.2 kilowatts of power um, to charge up half a percent. So yeah, we'll see. Anyway, it estimates about 12 minutes, so I'll come back in about 10 minutes. Sadly, I missed the end of uh, the EcoFlow's battery power um, and I've had to plug in the uh, kilowatt and smart meter into smart controller into uh, a, a normal AC power output. The kilowatt says uh, I've hit 2.993 kilowatts I think it said and the smart plug is reading 3.04 kilowatts. Um, I can't actually get how much power the EcoFlow has done at this time because it's now off and Home, assist home Assistant can't see it. Uh, so I am going to turn on charging using a separate smart plug. And it should wake up. There it is. And it should start charging. Um, I think I set it to charge at 1500 watts, uh, which is what it was discharging at. Let me just check. Yes, 1500 watts. So again, I expect this to take about two hours to fully charge. Um, I have to say, I'm a little disappointed it only managed to make 3 kilowatt output. Um, that does suggest that its output has dropped quite a bit from its original 3.6. Um, but we'll see how much it takes to fully charge it uh, before I read too much into that. Anyway, uh, I won't, I won't um, make little clips in between uh, now and then. I will again try and catch the point where it fully charges. Um, it is suggesting it will be 2 hours 41 minutes. And it's charging at just shy of... Uh, 1500 watts at uh, 1497-ish. Um, so yeah, I'll be back in a few hours. Well, the numbers are in, and unfortunately I missed the time when uh, uh, the Delta Pro fully recharged. But I can tell you that the input from the mains uh, came to 3.71 kilowatts, 
and the output from the battery to an AC load being a heater was 2.89 kilowatt hours, uh, which means there's a loss between the input and the output of 22%. So the mean average of uh, the input and the output is 3.3 kilowatt hours. Uh, so we've lost roughly 300 watt hours um, in the year, uh, which gives me a remaining capacity of 91.72%. Um, so a loss of about 8% in a year with uh, 265 cycles. So noting that EcoFlow rate, the EcoFlow Delta Pro, um, as 80% after 3,500 cycles. Um, so I believe that this type of battery uh, loses a lot of capacity early on. I, I, I say a lot. Uh, a, uh, it loses capacity quicker early on and then plateaus and slows down. Um, so I'd be really interested to see where this is in another year after another 250 cycles or however many it is and see where it's at then because I would hope that it doesn't go much lower than this very quickly. I think it's meant to hit 3,500 cycles and I've only done less than 300. So that's good news, it's kind of within line of where I'm expecting it, although I would have liked it to be a bit higher than 92% uh, remaining capacity. Um, but that's kind of how this type of battery technology works and is to be expected. Um, so yeah, anyway, if you enjoyed the content of this video, um, please like and subscribe, and if you have any thoughts or any ways that I could improve my testing methodology, um, I know the tools I'm using are very basic and aren't necessarily accurate, um, so I'd, I'd love some feedback or comments on better ways of testing it for next time. Anyway, catch you later, bye bye.